lineups. Villa with that settled look about them. They'll play a game with three centre backs Southgate, McGrath, and uh, Ekiol. And expect the full backs Charles and to storm quickly into opposing territory. Three in the midfield. And then the combination of Milosevic and York in attack, which has worked so well for Villa. Manager Brian with Palmer going into the midfield and Speed, who fractured a cheekbone only 31 days ago, plays as a forward looking left back. Here's the Leeds manager, Howard Wilkinson, in a positive mood. Four Villa, Steve Staunton, Michael Oakes, the goalkeeper, and Tommy Johnson. Three out the players for Leeds Brian Dean, a striker, Thomas Brolin, who can flit around and score the goal or two, and Nigel Worthington, normally playing somewhere around the left back area. Often in high profile games, it seems, on television. Well, he may have the answer for everybody today. Still only 22 years old. White York, still only 24 years old. And away we go. The Coca Cola Cup final of 1996. Villa in the claret and blue. Here's Gary Charles forward. Pumping it forward again towards Dwight York. And there was a foul there by Pemberton on York in the opening seconds. And a free kick to Aston Villa. But Villa get it away, or rather Leeds get it away quite comfortably. Dinked in again nicely there, this. An offside flag up against uh, Dwight York. To just play it to Milosevic. No power, no problem. A comfortable early touch for Lukic. To Ford. To Speed. Mark Ford again. A nice little ball played for Andy Gray. He's done well, but he's just run it out of play. But uh, the 18 year old, in fact, Howard Wilkinson was telling me yesterday, don't worry. It's a free space. And it'll be... In fact, there's a flag up for an off-speed. Coming to support. And gets the ball away towards Gray. Comes again to Dwight York. And York again. Hit Lukic with it. Well, you could say Lukic knew nothing about it, but the one thing you can say also about Lukic is that he stood up really big for that one because York truly hit it. I must admit, when he hit, when he latches onto this one, Dwight, when he latched onto it, I thought it was going to, I thought he was going to go across the goal like he did in the game earlier in the season. He's tried, actually. Fair to Lukic, stood up, stood his ground well. About the lad, he thought he could, could hold the ball up well and support your boa. Well, here's a corner for Leeds. McAllister with it. Weatherall wants it. Radiv is in there. Gray's in there, Yabur of course is there, Speed is there as well, good catch. Oh, a terrific goal! A fantastic goal by Milosevic. The 22-year-old from Partizan Belgrade who's been the butt of a few jokes this season because Misalotovic, they called him. Well, he didn't miss this one. He saved the best shot of all for the biggest stage of all. And Aston Villa are one nil ahead from Sava Milosevic. Phenomenal strike. Full credit to Taylor. In Taylor made a great run from the side to occupy defenders. But I think Howard Wilkinson will be very unhappy with Pemberton. Pemberton backed off and backed off and backed off. Everybody knows Savo is a left-footed player. He should have been closing down the left-hand side and getting closer to him. But full credit, great strike. But look, there's the run. The run takes weather all in field. Now he's gone, gone, gone. That For is that. a phenomenal strike. Great strike, great strike. But that's when you expect your defender to say, hey, he's in the zone, he's in the danger zone. Got to clean that one out. That's his first ever goal in the Coca-Cola Cup. And he played short to Dwight York. And now for Draper, curled in by him. Southgate's up there but won't reach it. Townsend poorly back in there and in the end it's a goal kick. So they're getting pulled all over. Southgate almost got it through to Milosevic again. I mean at the moment, unless they gain some supremacy, all you can see is Villa going on to get another goal. Well here's Townsend. 
Radibi is backing off him. It's still Townsend onto the right foot, and this time Lukic having a very sharp word with his defender, backing off to that extent. Almost a carbon cup. That's the third time. One cost them a goal. That nearly cost them a goal. And the other one was when the ball hit uh, Lukic on the chest. Whether it's because... Again, trying just a bit too much, and Ekiog is there. There you see the strength of the man. And not only that, look at that for a ball to Dwight York on the far side. Draper's gone through the middle too. It's still with York. Milosevic is in the middle. Little Ellen Wright's coming quickly as well. And it's gone across the face of the goal for a goal kick. I mean, that would have been a wonderful goal. Well, it's Draper with the corner. McGrath couldn't get a touch on that. A chance for Leeds to break now. The long legs of Carlton Palmer. He needs Kelly to run past right here for his pace. That's what he's done. But Palmer's come inside. He turned around and uh, by then Paul McGrath had come back. McAllister. Well he solved. Let's hope. There's the free kick. And there's the handling again of John Lukic. Possibly the best chance that Leeds have had so far. It was. He's done well again here, Kelly. He's been channeled away, looks to have no chance. Stands it in. Your boy, you think, has got a little touch. And to be fair to Charles, he's just done enough to stop um, speed flying at that one. I actually wonder whether young Gray was, was a, you know, whether he anticipated it enough. I thought Gray might have been going in on it as well. Alistair almost got his head to it. In fact, it was the fist. Oh, Bosnich just above his head and a long clearance there by Townsend and only Milosevic is up but Draper has come flying forward for Villa but Radibi who is a strong-minded man kept his ground well kept his head and more than that finds McAllister with a good ball but Villa have got plenty of people back yeah. Yeah. Ah, good move. Charles back to Townsend York, Leeds get it away again though, Yeboah couldn't get on the end of it, Weatherall got on the end of that, Yeboah chesting it down, no foul, Dwight York has got behind the defence this time, Cross comes in, oh it bounced awkwardly there, Ian Taylor, it bounced awkwardly as well for him, Palmer, hit long towards Dean, McAllister, Great challenge there between uh, McAllister and Townsend, and it's Brian Dean taking it up as the Yorkshire crowds are roaring him on. And he finds Gary Speed. Andy Gray's on the outside. Dean and Yabur are in the middle. And Kelly's in there too, and so too is Bosnich. Good work by Bosnich. There's certainly more of a spark about Leeds in this second half. They've got a corner. The young lad on about three or four occasions, young Gray has shown some great feet. I mean, his footwork there was sensational. He's almost tied McGrath up in a reef knot there, coming out right. Here comes the corner with Gary McAllister. Leeds hopes are rising. They've still got to find a goal. Curled in there. Debi was right in there, but it went the wrong way. Milosevic. Oh, McAllister again. They've given it away. McAllister shot charge down. Just listen to those. Taylor's in there. Milosevic. Dwight York on the goal line. Villa looking for that second goal of a cushion. But not with a corner like that. Kelly, Yabur, this is a break, a big Ghanaian striding forward, but uh, Draper and right between them hold him at play. But the other is gone. And it's a goal! It's Taylor, and it's two! The result of some good play down the left-hand side between Townsend and a deep cross. I wonder about the goalkeeper here. I just wonder. Probably thought Redebi was going to deal with it, but that's a full volley from Ian Taylor. Couldn't have struck it any better. 
At one stage I thought the goalkeeper was going to come and try and claim it. Perhaps that's a bit harsh. But an excellent finish. A terrific bit of play there by Alan Wright in the first place. He's all over the field and uh, storming up that left-hand side there. And here comes Villa again. This time it's Draper. York. Taylor. And I think even even the goalkeeper himself had made up his mind to start coming, but uh, that is some strike. And coming forward, but McGrath halting Yeboa. Careful leads, but no. See, it's incredible that the, the majority of leads is better. Yeah. Being forced away, though. York again. Draper. Charles is there. Milosevic away on the right. He's got Milosevic away on the right. It wasn't a good ball. Radivi picked it up comfortably. Finds Brian Dean, who in turn finds Carlton Palmer. for the corner good play again by Dwight Gork thought he just that's team. good defending actually that's the sort of defending they haven't really done because Milosevic has opened himself out onto his left foot and has, has nearly given himself a very good chance here comes a corner taken by Mark Draper Challenging, but it'll be a lead throw. Savic is through the middle. He's told Draper where he wants it, but instead Draper's picked up Dwight York. Still with York, picks up Milosevic onto the left foot, and it's charged down again. Dwight York. Taylor's coming in to help him. So too is Gary Charles. Shirts now, including uh, Weatherall back there. Held in, fisted away. Good piece of keeping. But and trying to hold him up. If he gets it onto that left foot, it could be trouble. And it's Dwight York, and it's another one. Three 0 Well, he's had a terrific season, Dwight York. 22 goals, those two vital ones in the semi-final, he's made them for Milosevic, and now Milosevic makes this one for him, 3-0, an emphatic finale now for Villa, and Milosevic a big part of it. You know, that can always happen when you're chasing the game, and uh, the big spaces, they've worked it down the field, Milosevic very unselfish there, and that's a good finish, a nonchalant finish. A player on top of his game, doesn't hesitate, whack. And it's not a flattering score, is it? It's not. No, it's a realistic scoreline, to be fair. Well, the smile that lights up football has lit up Aston Villa and their fans here at Wembley this afternoon. No, it's been absolutely magnificent, Andy. I mean, we all, we all said at one stage it was going to be a confrontation of the international captains, and although he's received a, a lot more support on, by his teammates, he's, he's deservedly won. Played well, over a minute of time added on now. Villa certainly going to Europe next season. They're winners of this Coca-Cola Cup, there's no doubt about that now. With, as what Ron is saying, a classic Wembley performance.
Okay. His appetite's been wetted now. He <laughs> wants another one. Cash down by Paul McGrath. There goes the final whistle. The Coca-Cola Cup final has been won by Aston Villa. Howard Wilkinson congratulates Brian Little. And Sava Milosevic, Dwight York are amongst the scorers. Steve Staunton didn't get on in the end as a substitute. Ian Taylor, the other scorer. And Villa, comfortable in the end, well-deserved winners after a classic Wembley Cup final performance. They dominated almost from beginning to end. Leeds had that little spell when Brian Dean came on at the start of the second half. But frankly, there was only ever going to be one winner, particularly from the moment after 20 minutes when Sava Milosevic put that howitzer into the back of the Leeds United net. It's 39 so steps that take him up to the Royal Box now. A great captain who's done a terrific job. And at the end, a worthy result, a victory. It's a heavy cup, but he's strong enough to take it. A sight for all Villa fans. players in the meantime are going off the pitch there's not really a lap of honour for them really Doug Ellis the Villa chairman in the cap there Mark Bosnich who's handling right through the afternoon was first class Paul McGrath who they tell you has probably been their best defender particularly over the last few weeks never put a foot wrong who scored the second goal Mark Draper who made those fantastic runs from the midfield where Villa really dominated and Gareth Southgate so cool and dependable at the back Alan Wright and Gary Charles the two full backs who went bombing down the wings and here's the man just 22 years old who's taken so much stick and has faced it all with a smile and still gone on chasing the ball but is just rewards today with that opening goal which was absolutely superb Dwight York has been scoring all season and has saved a special one for Wembley as well the substitutes come on as well and Michael Oakes the reserve goalkeeper and Tommy Johnson and Steve Staunton too let's have a word with Andy 